Alright guys, I take it back, you can game on Linux. So last month I made a video that was kind of like talking about my experience using Ubuntu and like switching over to that for like my main laptop source. And one thing I did touch on slightly was the gaming aspect and gaming in my initial review was eh, it's kind of a hit or miss depending on what you were doing. Um, I recommended using stuff like GeForce Now on Chrome in order to play the majority of your games because on Steam, on Linux at least, for the most part, a lot of the games aren't just going to be there and supported, so that's basically what I said in my review. But I did get a lot of comments from the viewers, and you guys basically said, hey, if you enable certain features, it will give you the full experience. It'll even download the Windows version of these games. So a lot of people were also saying that they wanted like an update video and like to keep them posted on what's going on. So here's the video, here's Gaming on Linux deeper dive. So for the people who are sitting here like, oh, should I try Linux for gaming? Well, long story short, as long as you're not playing Fortnite, yes. But thanks to the Linux community, they actually did give me a lot of updates and you know, they told me about specific things, for example, Steam Play, which allows you to enable something called Proton. Proton is basically, it's, from my understanding, a sort of, like, add-on you add to Steam, which will download and encode the Windows version of these games, instead of downloading the Linux version. And it definitely helps because it makes a lot more games, like stuff like CSGO, Fall Guys on Steam, it makes that actually supported, which, not supported on anything else, really. So if you go into Steam, and you go up to Settings, you can enable Steam Play, and then select Proton, you can select pretty much whatever version. Um, it basically, I guess like the later version, you know, the more software issues that are patched. And go to your Steam library, click on the game that you want to use. For example, we can use CSGO or we can also use stuff like Rocket League, you know, whatever. And then go to compatibility, check the box that says force the use of specific compatibility tool, then go ahead and download your game. So once it downloads, for example, let's say I want to download Rocket League. Um, if you just download the Linux version of Rocket League, you don't have any access to things like multiplayer. But if you do download the actual Windows version of Rocket League on Linux, it lets you play multiplayer. So it's a lot more helpful. So yeah, that's just Steam. But there's, you know, there's multiple different types of game launchers. For example, Epic Games, which is only Windows enabled. You can only download it for Windows. I don't even think you download it for Mac, but you go over there and you try to download it and it just gives you an exe file but there's a way to actually install that if you download something like Lutris, which i'm sure there are a bunch of tutorials on how to get the specific epic games one to launch um you can go ahead and launch the epic games launcher and it works fine you know you can actually download games and for the most part play them i tested like rocket league and I tried to test Fortnite, but Fortnite wouldn't actually launch. It said like files are missing or whatever. And I went as far as to even copy like the Fortnite files from this computer by going all the, out of my way to download the entire Fortnite game, which was like 40 gigabytes, and then transfer the contents of that, which was like 35 gigabytes, into my laptop to try to boot it from there. Still didn't work, but hey, the, I guess you can't win everything. But if you want the most compatibility and like you have to use Linux, I think that your best bet, assuming you have a good internet connection, would probably be to use something like GeForce Now. If you download Chrome on Linux, you can stream GeForce Now from Chrome on its own. So I would recommend trying that if you like had to use Linux, but you didn't have the right supported like launcher, like let's say you need to play Call of Duty Warfare, you know, you could use that. But there is one good thing about Linux that, you know, it doesn't really have any issues when it comes to cross compatibility. Minecraft. Minecraft pretty much has no difference depending on the OS and most PvP launchers, they don't work, but like Lunar Client, which is fine, it's actually my main one for Windows too, that works for PvP. Um, doing other things like, you know, adding mods, backing up worlds, texture packs, servers, all those files are accessible and they're easy to get to, which means that, hey, you can do pretty much anything you want to do and for Minecraft at least on Linux that you could do on Windows. Only thing that you can't do is for some reason, I think it's a port issue which probably is an easy fix. You can't really play like LAN 
you can't play like local hosted Minecraft worlds, which I find kind of annoying because on Windows and Mac you can, but for some reason just on Ubuntu at least you can't. It doesn't really make sense, but other than that, like you can just set up a server and everyone can join from your like local home IP, so I guess that's kind of a workaround. But yeah, that works. Anyways, I guess I have to apologize now. So Linux actually turns out to be good for gaming. And it's, I'd say it's like 95% there when it comes to like, you know, hey, let's all just switch to Linux, you know? We, we're, we're done with Windows. But yeah, if you guys did enjoy the video, go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe if you guys wanna see more videos on the channel. My name is Chris, thanks for watching the video and yeah, subscribe. Peace. <laughs>